Hi, today I'm watching David Wood. Um, I saw him in a video. Uh, you can see him in the thumbnail, yeah, how he's got a beard and a, night, a suit. And his hair is like kind of a, a short like style, like a buzz cut or something. Um, as far as uh, just other what he interpretations, says. I, I guess he's, a, he's under a curse because he was hung on a tree. But I, I don't know. Uh, Shabir's about to answer, so he can explain what, what he... So did Jesus become a curse on the cross? That was he cursed, that's what they mean. Something like that. Because that's what it says in the Bible. Anybody who's uh, crucified on a, on a tree or a wood or something is, or a cross is cursed. He would uh, think about Jesus being hung uh, on a tree. Okay, so, yeah, so David Wood looks different. He sounds different. I think he, he hired somebody to um, help him with his image. Um, I think he realized after that um, cross-dressing incident that he had to kind of up his game and, and stop acting like a buffoon, like a clown. It kind of makes me think that um, I, I'm kind of regretting now that I, I started making these videos um, on my mobile and and although I don't regret it really but I just started but yeah um, you start thinking about what kind of image you want to want to um, portray or what kind of image you want want to have people to see you like what okay so we'll just continue with the video uh, I'm going to watch some more of these after. Yes, sir. Um, before I begin, on any other day, sister, I do apologize. But any, any other day, you'll be off here. But I just really wanted to ask my question. I do apologize. And um, I'd just like to thank you guys for attending this. I enjoyed every bit of it. I'd like to thank you both. My question is, how do we understand the claim that Jesus, peace be upon him, was crucified on a cross, okay. tree, or pole in light of Deuteronomy chapter 21, verses 22 and 23? In Galatians so chapter really 3, recent. verse 13, oh, well, which published. states that okay, whoever okay. is hung on a tree or pole or cross is cursed. Thank you. Well, uh, I'd say you're about that close to understanding the gospel, right? Because we know uh, we know Jesus is, is righteous oh, according true. to both the Bible and the Quran. The problem is not people don't understand the gospel. They don't believe the gospel, okay? And he's just asking a question because, I don't know. You get lots of Muslims asking Christians questions, and then you get lots of Christians asking Muslims questions. Does anybody really understand? Um, I think they do understand. They just don't accept, and they're asking you the question because it's kind of awkward, and they just want to see what you're going to say, right? At least that's what I think is happening here, maybe. People can be polite, though. Like, the guy was pretty polite when he asked the question. I think that's nice. I don't know why they have to call well people don't like David Wood because of his past um, attitude in debates I mean his style and maybe he's trying to change for the better a little bit I hope so wow David Wood says Jesus is cursed for us and then he says I don't know then he says maybe Shabir knows go ask him this is where Wood is humiliating himself. The great Wood is destroyed. Man, I just love this channel. He, David Wood was never um, great at... I, I never liked the way he answers questions. If you go and do just a little bit of research, you could debunk everything that David Wood says. Okay, Just like Shorosh and all those other guys. Pamela Geller. They're all just liars. You will be humiliated on the Day of Judgment. That no good infidel. Well, you don't know, do you? I mean, maybe he'll become Muslim and he won't be humiliated, right? Muhammad in the Hadith said that Satan touches everyone who comes into the world, but he couldn't touch Jesus or his mother. Yeah, everyone we were just else, talking. Muhammad, That's amazing. I was just talking about this with my kids yesterday. My son mentioned that um, he's studying in university. And uh, he mentioned this. It's really interesting. So we were talking about magic also. Uh, the Prophet was uh, the Prophet Muhammad or Salam, was touched by magic one time so um i told him well didn't you read the hadith uh, 
um, that, you know, uh, uh, Angel Gabriel told the prophet, I, I believe that's what happened, that where the magic was, and then he went and he, he, somebody was going to get it. The prophet sent someone to get it for him. And then you usually you have to read on it, like Quran, and untie the magic somehow. So um, they even do this today still. You, you can see uh, videos about this if you want. Just do a search about magic or something. Uh, it's called Sahar. And um, anyway, so, uh, but by the time they brought the magic back, it was in a well or something, um, the prophet already had been cured. So, so what happened to him was that he had been thinking he had done something which he had not done. So that was what the magic was doing. And it's, it was, so, so he, um, he was like cured before even the uh, magic came. But it's just an interesting topic, interesting question. Um, Jesus and Maryam are, are different from other people, right? We know that. Jesus was born miraculously, at a miraculous uh, birth, miraculous conception. And um, his birth was like other people, I mean, but his uh, conception was miraculous, right? And he also spoke in the cradle defending his mother. So anyway, everyone say to touch of the Jesus. And so, you're right. How do how do we reconcile our belief that Jesus was righteous with the Old Testament claim that anyone who's hung on a tree is cursed? And it seems that we would have to say that Jesus was cursed in spite of being righteous. Well, that's the thing, okay? Some Let's not talk about the prophets, okay? We know the prophets are righteous, despite what the Bible says about some of them. So, um, uh, what was I going to say? Just that. Yeah, so the problem is the Bible says all kinds of things. Uh, and, um, and then Christians want you to believe in it, even though there are so many wrong things in it and discrepancies, uh, you know, So how can you believe in something that you don't think is true, you know, or or it contradicts itself or um, claims things that you just don't want to believe in because they seem wrong, like saying bad things, evil of prophets and stuff like that, which in the Quran that there's no story like that, what you find in the Bible about prophets, you know, the prophet uh, root and so on. Different uh, stories that are just um, obviously wrong. And that's exactly what the, what the gospel says, right? The one who was without sin became sin for us. So, um, yeah, if, if you if you if we if we left those things out, and you would wonder. Okay, so first, if, if Jesus is him and his mother are never touched by Satan, and then he becomes sin. So this just sounds like. Totally um, BS. Answering your question by slowly talking and repeating what you and or the questioner said a couple of times and bringing up a hadith that has nothing to do with the topic in order to attack our prophet. Man, what a refutation. Yeah, it's like, see, I guess he's not really... You know what? You can't. It can't be helped because... Christianity is just that there's so many problems, okay, and that's the that's the reality. They don't have answers. <laughs> Christianity and hypocr hypocrisy walk hand in hand. When weak, they are cowardly. When strong, they impose the Inquisition and conduct the Crusades. Yeah, exactly. So I think I'm done here with David Wood. I don't think I need to see another video. I'm not going to record anything else, but um, it was worth a shot. I just want to see. Uh, 